Some dudes across the street calling the security a bitch. It's just a buy. This morning I went to Thorner Elementary and I usually get my, my normal sesh. I just go and stretch and I do exercises on the monkey bars. And then I also I've been practicing with a trisectional staff. So I was just practicing with these and I was just out at Thorner, you know, just just practicing, swinging them around and stuff. And then this guy's just walking by, and he, he just, you know, he's just walking by and he goes, hey, what are you doing? Are you okay? Is everything all right? And I'm just, I'm just in the middle, of just watching the video. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right, I'm doing good. How about yourself? Okay, how'd you get in there? And then <laughs> I just said, nah, I hopped the fence. Starts going towards the corner, getting close to the corner of the fence, and then I tell him, um, "Yeah, I just, you know, I hopped over right in the corner. Mind if I join you?" Sure. Hops the fence, comes down, just all quick down the slope from the fence, and then he he walks up to me and he goes, just straight up gets it all in all in my my view and stuff. Just within this this much space, about a foot. And he's getting closer and closer, and he just goes, so you're just practicing, huh? What are you practicing? Oh, Shaolin Kung Fu. You know, just messing with the tri-staff, and I'm just walking away, keeping my distance. The whole time he's walking towards me, so he's following me around, and I just tell him, um, you know, so what's up? What, you know, what, what are you doing? He's like, oh, not much. What are you doing? And I just basically told him, what, I had to reiterate the same stuff, and he keeps getting closer and closer. And then I just asked, you know, oh, so what, what's your name? Ray. So, oh, okay, nice to meet you. My name's Ivan. And I just was trying to be friendly. I shook his hand and then he just grabbed it and then he grabbed my arm. He grabbed my arm really hard. And then um, I was just, I didn't, show, I didn't show any fear. I wasn't trying to be afraid. So I was just like, oh, okay, nice to meet you. And then I just kept my distance. So I was just like, okay, so Ray, um, do you know any Kung Fu? Have you ever, you know? No, not, never. But the whole time he's just getting closer and closer and the way he was talking was just very uh, uncomfortable. And I was, I was low key scared as hell, dude. And so um, just how he grabbed my hand and then how he grabbed my arm, I thought he was gonna just like, I was just waiting for something to happen. And I was just not waiting, but keep, just trying to get out of the situation. And I, he just kept looking like he was just, uh, you know, he's looking suspicious. So, um, so I start walking towards the uh, 
the monkey bars and I and he's just like, oh yeah, so just practicing doing your shit, huh? And I was just like, yeah, man, there's, you know, there's kung fu and everything we do. And he's like, oh, oh really? You, you want to show me some? And I was just like, no, nah, just you know, like like this for instance. Check this out. And then I put my like foot on the monkey bar. I grabbed one of them and I was just like. You know how they do weird poses where they, you know, they, they do stance like that. And I was just saying, because you can just deli like deliver the, the blow, like just extending out. And then he was just like, oh, okay. And the, the monkey bars are separating us. And then the whole time he's just like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then just like touching the monkey bars and getting close to me. He's like, show me again. And as I was just thinking of doing this again, he was just like getting like close. And I was just like, you try it, Ray. Like, you should check it out. Like, try doing it. And he's like, Nah, I'd rather not. And he's like getting close. Straight up, true story, dude. And I was just like, I was like, oh my god, dude. I, I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to get out of this situation. Like, I'm just trying to, you know, I just picked up my stuff and I was just like, oh yeah, that's cool, man. Um, I'm just about done with my sesh. And he's like, oh, you're leaving? Yeah, you should go. Like, you're leaving though, right? You're leaving. Yeah, man. I'm, you know, I'm gonna take off. And then, uh, yeah, I was just telling him, like, yeah, I'm leaving. Um, he was like, okay. And I just asked what he did for a living. I was like, construction. What kind of construction? Asphalt. I'm like, all right. So, I, I mean, it just sounds like it's just going back and forth, communication. Like, there's not. But the, if you were there, I'm pretty sure you, just being alone, and this dude hops the fence, and he just gives you the same mentality as someone that's trying to kick you out or trying to start some stuff. Like his vibes are just like off the chart. I just had to get out of there and when I hopped the fence, he was just, he hops the fence right after me and I'm just like walking away. And he goes, you live you live far from here? Where do you live? And I just said, oh, you know, a few blocks. You know, he's like, oh, a ways? Yeah. And then he's like, so, uh, um, you can, yeah, you can meet up with me anytime, man. We can chill. I was like, okay, how do I get in contact with you? He's like, we can chill right now. <laughs> I was like, um, I was like, no, my friend's gonna pick me up right now. And I had my car there, but I wasn't gonna walk to it. So I was supposed to meet up with Mowgli. And yeah, I just called Mowgli and, I, and he was walking, I was walking away and he was at a distance. And I just said, all right, Mowgli, like, um, just come over here right now. Like I was trying to keep it down. I was like, get over here right now. And he's like, I'm gassing up. So I just said, dude, as soon as possible, man. Like, I don't feel cool. <laughs> I was scared. So I thought this dude, I've been in several situations like that where you can just tell the, the key to, <laughs> to avoid trouble is to stay at least arm's length. Always have that much space between you and someone because when you're close, they can just like molly whop you or just fucking chin check you. And you gotta be careful because on the streets, it's different, dude. So just keep your distance, all right? Cause that's how how far your foot can extend too. So this is like an, a gauge. So I had to tell myself, someone taught me that. Um, and I just kept it to this day. And I've been in situations where friends were almost jumped and they called on me for help. And I was in the middle of the situation and it was three against two of us. And I didn't fought, but I feel like I have a way of curbing uh, something that's about to go down I feel like I like just you know you have to give space for someone you want to show no like no fear no um, no anger back because some people are waiting for you to strike they just say a whole bunch of shit or get in your like in your comfort zone because I'm pretty sure everyone knows they have a bubble and when you're in that zone it's like uh, who are you especially in Bakersfield but it's it's crazy there's a lot of crazy people, man. And people, I uh, had a, well, I had a different outfit earlier too. So if you're wondering, oh, he's wearing a Fight Club shirt, I would have fought that dude too. He's swinging uh, tri staff around and he thinks he's all hard. That's a, basically the mentality he's giving me. I just said no. In Shaolin Kung Fu, you know, I, I, it's about discipline, you know, and uh, restraint, and you know, it's knowledge of the self. It's a discovery of the self. You know, it's all about keeping that flow. Tai Chi, the way of life. And he goes. He's like, oh yeah, like he he just thought I was violent with him or something. I don't know, but I, I felt like long st to wrap it up in a nutshell, it was insane, and I thought I was 
gonna have to use some defense. So, but there is an art of fighting without fighting, and that's just your actions. You know, you want to just respond peacefully, and then get yourself out of there. If you feel bad vibes, you're not wrong. You feel the you feel this the feeling in your stomach. You got a knot in your stomach. You gotta you gotta listen to your gut. So. You guys be safe out there, and uh, keep the Qigong strong, man. I'll meet you all fall. Peace.